Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 8 of season 2 <clears throat> of Jabba's Reincarnations. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It is? Oh no, what's the phrase? Of course, he like immediately fell in love with her. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's really cute, and, and this is any, like, guy or girl, when the significant other, like, literally falls, like, instantly in love with you. It, it's so freaking adorable. It's, like, the cutest little puppy love and such. Even when you're, like, you you do have feelings for him, for them, he or her and stuff, um, but slowly but surely you're just, like, you're, you're not sure yet and such. And they are, like, but I really care for you. I want to show you how much I care for you. Like, that shit is so fucking adorable. And as someone who is a hopeless romantic and such, it's the cutest thing in the world. And even though I have, I feel like I haven't had the greatest luck relationship wise you know when you watch anime and you're just like oh my god it went something like that and then in the real world sometimes you just get jack freaking itch and it sucks truly that's why i can relate to so many freaking tiktoks that i see <laughs> jesus christ Oh, excuse me. Say it again in the back. You? Out of all the characters, why you? Hmm. Right, I wanna know. Maybe it was something that Edison said about you. <laughs> I will never know until we see her again. What do you want? Confess or something, huh? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> well, 
No, no, you know her. <laughs> you traveled with her. It's your companion. Yeah. Yeah. Aww, but yeah, they were honestly being truthful. She is like with almost every fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I felt like she won't really reciprocate his feelings. <laughs> She's like a, once again, for the streets type of girl. Not to say that that's a bad thing. Please don't judge me on that. But it's just, she is the type of person who just looks around a lot. It's you! Oh, so obvious. Yeah, you still want to go with this. All right, all right. Let's do this then. <laughs> like well I'm flattered thank you oh shit Just gotta be honest with him. Mm. 
Yeah, me too. Oh, wow, where'd it go? Wait, 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 wait. But is he okay with you fucking around on other guys? Right? Okay. And if he's okay with that. Oh, they cute. Right? They want you to make, be a love matchmaker for a rush of shit. Hmm? Huh? Oh, okay. I'm thinking you had the deep voice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is such... Oh my god! We not going to talk about that line, though? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. The girls left? And sir, how far did you travel to come here?
Always or frequently, but just only when it's really necessary. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nice. Mm, be okay. The one time when you wish you kind of kept your mouth shut, but it's okay. Okay. Seems fair. I mean, well, baby, you made a fucking trail. Is it getting back up though? Oh, okay. I don't know about that, but you know, how about we just clap? <laughs> I 
damn. Oh my god, his fucking face looks like a damn jawbreaker. Oh shit. Well, don't say never. Never say never. <laughs> hmm? What are you now doing? Teaching the cup. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> exactly. Same. <laughs> This episode was not what I was expecting as a title card from last week of a female, I mean, not the female, <laughs> the fiance of despair, but okay. I'm not mad at it. Just, ooh, a lot of shit went down this, like, okay, I love the fact that, like, the first time, like, well, majority of this episode was just, you know, couples. Couples, 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 couples. And, you know, you watching if you're not in a fucking couple, you're just over here like, yeah, it's a regular Tuesday for me, single like always, and I have to go home and just, you know, drink my sorrows. Oh, my God. But it was cute. I mean, hey, at least, you know, there, there was some good out of this. Truly, a couple was you know, made, and now they're together, and they're going out, and they look so cute together, I mean, I never would have thought, like, damn, an elephant, and, you know, human, but hey, whatever floats your boat, hey, it's whatever you're into, I ain't mad at it, he, I mean, besides, he's super cute, I would do too, and such, how, this is also coming from someone who, I, I somewhat have a crush on Rudy, and such, and so even there were even times where, like, when I was watching season one, and I literally blurted out loud, I was like, "Am I starting to fall for this damn kid?" And such, I was like, "The fuck!" I uh, like, "Are you serious?" The white mask. What the? I have to wait till next Sunday again. <laughs> but <laughs> I couldn't even believe myself that it was happening. But at the same time, I could really like. As much as I have, like, a thing for him, I can always emphasize on how he feels in the moment because even I have had moments like that with um, just anything that he's gone through. Not, like, with the, the kind of with the depression part and stuff because it could be a different wave of depression because, you know, of course, depression is not the same thing for everybody. But, of course, like, we, there are moments where I have been what my mom likes to call me stuck and such and I just do the same thing and I feel like I can't really do anything else or how like um I think one of my current problems I still face now is losing getting to 10,000 subs losing that channel which is still this channel it's still the same channel regardless but losing that channel due to copyright strikes over whatever show I was reacting to at the time when it happened um, and still even now being still butthurt. But at the same time, when I look and see, like, where I am and such, and the fact that I'm not at the same point that I was when I was starting, it is a little, like, um, not really reassuring, but it is upsetting. It, it just, it, it fucks with you a lot, truly. And that's why I literally always try and strive my hardest on, like, every freaking video that I, you know, do. Even when sometimes I'm like, oh, hey, 
I know something about it. I'm going to make this like a spoiler series because of the fact is like I can talk about it because it is my channel and I can say whatever the heck I want to. Yes, some people are going to agree with some of the things that I say. And yeah, some people aren't. And that's okay. I'm a critic at the end of the day. Not everybody's going to agree um, or disagree with every little thing that I say. I mean, it was even the constant battle of like the first 100 subs. And that is a, that's a hella battle because you're you're questioning yourself a lot and when you feel like I don't feel like this now but like especially in my first year um the road to 100 was like my hell my personal hell in my opinion and every single time when I would go several steps forward somebody would unsubscribe and I would take like several a bazillion steps back and then I would question everything and I would sit here and think, well, is it this? Is it that? Is it me? Am I not this? Am I not that? And, you know, there was a point where somebody, not only like a subscriber, but also my mom, literally talking to me and being like, you can't always look at someone um, unsubscribing as like, a, a curse and such and saying maybe, you know, if they did leave you, it's okay that just rest assures you maybe they, they didn't really you know want to continue on that journey with you at that time that doesn't mean they can't come back I, I, I feel like in a way people in some shape or form always come back and such and they see you again and they fall kind of not uh, kind of in love with you again or just your personality and what you are and stuff because of course first impressions are pretty much everything in the world of social freaking media um, and you only really get that one little chance. And so sometimes I always wonder, maybe one day I'll end up asking this again, but like, was it, what the heck was it that got y'all into like following me and such? Like I, and besides the anime thing, like, what is it? Is it just like my personality? I've heard a lot of, well, most of my male subs, um, typically have told me, oh, like, oh, you're cute and stuff. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> even though sometimes I don't really feel cute myself and such but that's another thing that I'm also you know constant battle with myself because I don't always feel like I'm pretty I'm not like the psh, typical chick and stuff and so yeah that's a that, that's another battle with me and you know we all have battles within ourselves it's just about literally taking one step at a time but yeah, what the heck was the end of this episode? What the fuck is about to happen next week? Of course, we won't know until next week, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 8 of season 2 of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want to join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday when I come home from work, probably a couple hours later, because you know, this week is hell week for me, and I'm really not ready for it, but... Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.